Um, Dan, you hear that from Adam. Why do you think Belichick hasn't landed anywhere yet? Yeah, I guess the thing that I settle on is too old for a lot of these organizations. I mean, if you look at the average age of these yep. head coaches that have gotten jobs, there there are 25 years or so younger than Coach Belichick. I did not yeah. anticipate that to be an issue, but I guess they're looking at it and saying, how can you actually connect and relate to these not only young players, but younger coaches. We see all these younger coaches coming in that are really high-end coordinators. And I don't know if these organizations are sitting there saying his age is restricting or hindering that. You know what it is? It's, it's, it's when it's time to stop going to the club. OK, like when we were all growing up, going we club. loved going out. Right. <laughs> and it was it was it was just it was, it was just noisy. beautiful. We would go in there and, and we would buy a table and we would have the drinks coming with the sparkly things coming out <laughs> of it. And everybody be looking over there like, who is that over there at the party spending all of this money? And everybody want to be a part of your VIP section. And then you get old. And you walk in the club and you're 40 and you're looking around and you're like, what the hell are these young kids doing? I can't believe I act like that one day. And that's what it is. That's what it is. Bill, I missed this completely. We talked about this a week I ago. Did. And I was like, Bill Belichick is right. going to be interviewing these teams. And he was, I was absolutely <laughs> wrong when it came to that. It is the fact that he hasn't come to focus with an offense. And if you look over the past years, it's been bad, y'all. It's been bad hires. It's been bad draft picks. Mm -hmm. And they haven't had success on the offensive side of the football in the league, where at times you got to score 30 to 40 points to win games now. All right, so RC did call this on Belichick. We're going to get to him in just a second. But, Mina, I'm curious sure about did. the Seahawks. That, that job is one of those yeah. remaining. It, who would you like to see go there? I would like to see them hire the Ravens defensive coordinator, Mike McDonald. The biggest Stud. failure of the Seahawks team yeah. in recent years has been their inability to shot, stop these Shanahan offenses. They've sliced and diced them, despite the fact that the Seahawks have invested draft capital and used trades to try to address the defense, and it hasn't gotten better. This season, the Dolphins, the Niners, and the Texans, all of whom are you know part of that tree, I'll put up uh, the bottom three performances on the season versus the Ravens. The Rams did better, but Matthew Stafford blacked out in that game, so I'm attributing Black that to out. that mostly. <laughs> uh, if I'm Seattle and I got to play Kyle Shanahan, Sean McVay twice a year, I want the guy who I believe can stop them. I, mm. I think it would be a tremendous hire. Now, now Roquan Smith and Patrick Queen aren't coming with him, so they have some personnel issues Patrick to address, Hickson. no doubt. I want to be clear. But I think it makes a lot of sense given their competition and where they've struggled. Mina, would Raekwon yeah. Smith and Patrick Stop McQueen it. I'm be mad coming at you guys. with them? Because they are also <laughs> people who yeah. seem to be for that Boy, team. Boy, you terrible. You are Nobody terrible. gets it. <laughs> Go you know, ahead, RC. <laughs> hey, you know, Mina, I love that. Now, I know you make that take as a homer, as someone who understands who the <laughs> Seattle Seahawks have to play every single season yeah. and you want to see your team win. I'm going to take it a step farther, further, looking at what they have at the corner position in Tariq Woolen and Devin Witherspoon, mm. who I believe is an absolute star. Are you going mm, to yeah. sign Bobby Wagner back to have him as a linchpin or a captain as you do make that transition? And you have some pieces already offensively in DK Metcalf, in Kenneth Walker, the third, obviously JSN, where you know offensively, if you bring in, bring in one of these young, great offensive minds with creativity, you're going to be able to score points. I think that that would be one of the biggest picks up pickups of the entire offseason and also thinking out of the box while understanding what your box contains. That's a great Great idea. All right, so uh, the Seattle job still open. The commander's job still open. We'll see. Also, Raekwon and um, our guy Patrick McQueen, they are the people at the club with the sparkly things, okay? <laughs>